Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Evan Levine. I'm a cardiologist at Mount Sinai Medical Center, and I work at Mount Sinai in Westchester County in the Scarsdale and Pelham offices. Um, today, I thought it would be a great idea to talk about coronary calcium scores or coronary artery calcium, sometimes abbreviated as CAC, C-A-C. Now, what is a coronary artery calcium score? Well, first of all, it's basically a CAT scan. And you go inside the CAT scan just for a few minutes. And it takes a picture and it measures the amount of calcium in your coronary arteries. Now, it's a CAT scan, so there is a bit of radiation involved, even though it's brief. And that radiation is roughly equivalent to about 20 X-rays. So if you see the image here, it's just a regular CAT scan, but it's really brief and it's good enough to detect the amount of calcium. Now, coronary artery calcium has been heavily promoted over the past few years since it can pick up these calcium deposits and help estimate your risk of having significant coronary artery disease. Now, there's a difference between no calcium, lots of calcium, but also a difference between the smallest amount of calcium and lots of calcium. Now the computer can detect the amount and give you a score. That score is the amount essentially of calcium in your coronary arteries. And that's an important number that your doctor needs to know. Now on the slides you're looking at right now, you can clearly see the difference between no calcium, a little bit of calcium, and lots of calcium. Those are those white lines. That's the buildup of calcium actually in the coronary artery. Now, what does this all mean? That's an important question. Well, there are well-established guidelines for the use of coronary calcium, and it's essential for people to know what the well established guidelines are. Many of you know that some patients require lipid lowering therapy, usually in the form of statins, atorvastatin, rosuvastatin. Now, this is guideline based and it's based upon a calculator that your physician uses. It's very simple. If you have, based upon a calculation of greater than a seven and a half percent chance of having a cardiovascular event in 10 years, well, based upon all the studies that have been done over the past couple of decades, it's recommended that you start on a medication called a statin. But there are lots of people out there that may not want to go on the statin, or maybe their risk is 7% or 8% or 9%. They're right on that borderline you know, basically five to 10% cardiovascular risk, and they're just not sure. Now we can use coronary artery calcium to further calculate your risk. Remember, the more calcium you have, the higher risk you have of coronary disease. So we can use a calculation from MESA, which is called the Multi-Ethnic Study in Atherosclerosis. They used lots of folks in these studies and determined how important or how coronary calcium played a role. So let's imagine you have a 7% chance initially of having a cardiovascular event in 10 years and you're just not sure, you're kind of on the bubble and your doctor said, we're gonna get a coronary artery calcium score. Well, if you have no calcium, the calculation afterwards, based on that MESA calculator, will, uh, will be far less than 7%. And that will help your doctor determine you may not need a statin. Whereas if your calcium score is extremely elevated, the calculation could be much higher than the 7.5%. And then you'll have a strong recommendation to take a statin. Now, that's where the guidelines are important, the people on the bubble. But let's imagine you wanna get a coronary calcium score and lots of people have just to see 
just to see what your risk is. And sometimes, especially based upon a uh, quite a landmark Denmark study published um, in 2021, um, what happens? So originally we often told people, well, you have no calcium in your coronary arteries, you're young, so you really have no risk. Now you're young and you have a very low risk anyway. But what this study showed was that in young people, relatively young, 60 or younger, that they could have plaque, they could have cholesterol buildup, but they haven't developed the calcium yet. And in those patients, again, they already had a low risk, but having no calcium in their arteries really didn't help any further risk stratify them. In other words, the people with no calcium had basically the same risk as the people with some calcium. And so if you're just looking as a youngster to see whether or not your risk of having a heart attack is increased, as uh, somebody who's relatively young in their 50s or younger, the coronary calcium may not be so helpful. Again, it's very helpful determining whether or not you need cholesterol medication. That's another story. Now let's go to the elderly. Again, 70 or older. Now, if you have no coronary calcium, you've had that time to accumulate that calcium. You're 70 already. That's a great finding. You have a very, very low risk of having a heart attack with zero calcium. But here's the problem. You're 70 years of age. And in that landmark study from Denmark, only 5% of everyone tested had zero calcium. So in other words, is it really worth getting a coronary calcium score when you're older? The chance of you having a score of zero is very small. Now, my suggestion, is that if you have a very high calcium score, especially when placed in that MESA calculator, it can be very, very helpful for you to determine whether or not you need to take a statin. There's no question that an abnormal coronary calcium increases your overall risk of having coronary disease. But the important thing is that coronary artery calcium scores, these tests, like any imaging study, whether it's a stress test, a nuclear stress test or stress echo, does not replace a good history, an exam and a caring and knowledgeable physician. They must be taken into account with, your, with the other factors, including what your other risk factors are and what, you know, what your physician may think you need. So, the take home message here is that if you're on the bubble, if you're not sure you wanna take a statin and the numbers are not very high, but your physician thinks you should, you might wanna consider coronary artery calcium score. But if you're really young and you have no other risk factors, we're not so sure how much that coronary artery calcium score will help you. And again, in the elderly patients, since most elderly patients will have coronary artery calcium, uh, we're not so sure how that's gonna help you as well, unless you're using this to help modify the guidelines or determine whether or not you need to take a statin. Um, I hope that didn't confuse many of you. That's the story about coronary artery calcium. Very helpful to help you determine if you need a statin and may not be so helpful um, if you want to know whether or not you have coronary artery disease.